I'm Ishmael Nazario. Most people know me as Ish. And today I had the, the uh, opportunity and the privilege to be interviewing Mr. Oscar Prentice Bowles. Mr. Bowles, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Mr. Bowles was born on October 14, 1923, 87 years ago. Um, we're not going to talk about his childhood because we're limited on time. But he went to high school at Talco High School in Talco, Texas. Uh, in Talco, Texas, I found out that he had an eye for the ladies. And one such lady was Vera Henderson. And uh, Mr. Bowles, um, he was caught one time uh, with Vera Henderson in a secluded area of the school, Talco High School. And his principal caught him. And Mr. Bowles, what were you doing and with this lady, Vera Henderson, in a secluded area of Talco High School? If, if you can believe this, I was only holding her hand. <laughs> and Mr. Fluharty, the principal uh, of the school, uh, frowned upon uh, that kind of activity. And he took me to the office and said, Prentice, we don't want any more of this mushy stuff on the campus. And I agreed with him that it uh, uh, probably be better if we uh, contained ourselves from then on. Well, that, that's, that's a very good explanation. I thought perhaps instead of holding hands, you might have been kissing with her or something like that. Oh, that would have been a federal case. Oh, that would have been a federal case. Okay. Also, it wasn't the only time Mr. Fluharty caught Oscar, Mr. Bowles, uh, doing, some, uh, doing something unusual. Mr. Bowles, he, he kind of skipped some classes. He wanted to attend a track meet, and uh, Mr. Fluharty caught him. And Mr. Fluharty took him to the office, and he gave him licks, L-I-K-S, licks. And Mr. Bowles remember that he said, you recall what you told me about those licks? Uh, he burnt me good. Can you explain that? That's exactly right. <laughs> Mr. Fluharty was a larger man than I am. And he was very strong. And he said, Prentice, I'm going to give you uh, a break. I'm going to let your daddy give you the licks for skipping six period, or I'll give them to you. I said, Mr. Fluharty, let me get that board and let you get started. Because if my daddy does it, I'm probably going to miss more days than that. <laughs> I think that is a great explanation. And also, you told me before that you had an eye for girls. Can you explain that? Or does it need explanation? Everything that came by, <laughs> uh, meaning girls, I observed very carefully. I was always interested in which one was the prettiest girl in Talco High School. So, what you said? And uh, I could always let everybody know who I thought was the most outstanding girl from a, a beauty standpoint. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, as I say, we have to move on. Now, uh, there was another incident that happened at Talco High. Uh, while Mr. Ball was getting his book on the hallway and the, but, the, but the locker room, he happened to rub against the person next to it, which was a female. He rubbed against her. And Mr. Os Mr. Balls, uh he excused himself, as a gentleman should do. But the girl did something different. The girl told her boyfriend that he did, that Mr. Bowles rubbed on her purposely. And after school, her boyfriend challenged Mr. Bowles. And Mr. Bowles was not going to back up. Do you remember that? I remember it very well. But I didn't rub on her. I bumped into her. 
and uh, uh, she didn't seem to uh, mind so much at the time, but uh, it became a, a big problem because she was the younger sister of the girl I was going with. And uh, the old sister was about ready to to do her in. And so she, uh, to create a little harmony, I guess, she told her boyfriend uh, what I had done. He was a good friend of mine on the football team, but uh, we weren't friends that day. And so Mr. Fluharty was left to straighten out the problem. That sounds very interesting. It sounds familiar to me too. You know, um, we're getting close on time. From high school, Mr. Ball went to Oshita Parish College in Louisiana, which is now Louisiana Monroe. There, his brother Woody was attending college, and Woody was playing football. And like Mr. Balls in high school, he played football. He was a halfback in the football team. He ran the 440 and on track team, and he and he played. He was also on the basketball team. Um, Mr. Balls wanted to go to college, so his brother Woody told his coach that, hey, my brother, he can make the team. And he also made a, a, a remark like, he ain't much to look at. Uh, exactly. Uh, that's, that's good. He was very complimentary. He <laughs> said, coach, I know he doesn't look like much to look at, but I'll guarantee you he'll make you football. Yeah. That is great. Then, um, also, what he enrolled at, uh, is that three minutes? Okay, I'm, I'm afraid right here we're going to stop for a minute. And at this time, Mr. Bowles, what would you like to tell all the students that need you at Baker High School? Uh, one of the most interesting uh, problems I had at the time was uh, stopping gambling in the pines and down by the football field. So I walked down one day and a uh, card game was going on and they were so interested in the game until they didn't see me. So one of the boys said, I'll stay. I said, son, with a hand like that, you should raise it. They immediately jumped up and thought they had seen Matt Dillon. I said, boys, I'm going to grant you immunity today. Not going to do a thing. Going to let you off. But I'll tell you this. If you continue to gamble, I will catch you. To use a gambler's term, you can make book on that. That's a very interesting story, Mr. Balls. Um, also, you, joined, you, you were in the ROTC, and from ROTC, at the end of your first college year, you were enlisted, and, um, and, and from there, you went to Fort Benning to Airborne School. You were here two months. You went home uh, to uh, Magnolia, Arkansas on leave. They granted you a three-day leave, and on the way back, your bus, your Greyhound bus broke down in Montgomery, and when the announcement came, bus for Columbus uh, ready, you mounted the bus, and you noticed that all the seats were filled. Uh, there you met, uh, there was a lady named Mary, and she had her son with her, and she took her son and set him on his lap. Yeah. And his, the, the lady's name was Anita, Anita Grief, and, uh, and his son, her, that son was Shelby Morin class of 1958. Now, Mr. Bowles, I hate to cut the time short, uh, but we have a presentation for you. In behalf of all of the students that served under your tenure at Baker High, it is my honor and privileges to present this brick to you engraved, as you can see, engraved Baker High School, 1945-1994, Oscar P. Bowles, he was there from 1958 to 1974, high school principal. Mr. Ball, it's been a great pleasure 
May God bless you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, y'all, for listening.